although we paint for ourselves, our enjoyment, we're influenced and we're inspired by all of our surroundings. I would love to, in, in my body of work, represent my, my roots and my culture, not only from my existing life in this new culture, but also from the past in Mexico. As a child, I remember El Manantial being colorful. But the whole idea of El Manantial represents, it's not just the farming community that was once there. It's my family, it's my culture, it's the people in the surrounding towns. So I'm kind of looking at this for the first time in 17 years. All of this, I'm not kidding you, everything, as far as the eye could see, it's all vineyards. But the memories keep coming back of what it used to be. Just the lush greenness and the harvesters out there picking grapes and the big trucks loaded with grapes and such. This is beautiful to me still. I'm starting to analyze it but put it together into mental imagery more so than, than words because that's really how it works for me. I, I actually get my language from what I express. So the images given off from my experience in, in Mexico are gonna come through through a painting. When I paint about my, my roots and, and the people of, my, of the Pueblo, I, I think about the experiences mainly or things that my grandmothers or mother or sisters share. When I was there, I, I got to see the faces that reoccur in my work. The sentiment, the, the expressions in the eyes, the look of someone who has experienced life, its hardships, but also its beauty. start a painting and no clue whatsoever and along that way you just the process you find something in there that goes ooh this is this is working when you give it all your heart you you literally start seeing a story you start seeing someone or a creature or something someone said see that this road right here and that arch entrance with the red letters that's my school and Grandma Piedra used to have to chase me all over the plaza to get, to get me to school. Malmantel is almost left behind from, from progressing, but the culture is so rich, it's maintained, sometimes maybe by a thread, but it's, it's still there and it's not gonna go away. When I look back at what we did and what we saw, it kind of like reflected on what we do on day to day. We sort of like layer ourselves and, and prepare ourselves for when we get to that, that moment of celebration, we just sort of unleash everything. The pageantry of the traditional wine festivals to the school parades, it's just sort of like they let their, their colors out. That pageantry of celebration doesn't come around day in and day out in those cultures. But when it does come, it's like they unleash all this energy they've been building up layer by layer. From a very, very early age, I was exposed to, to cemeteries. The tombs were, were mounds of dirt back when nobody really could afford tombstones. So at the Dia de los Muertos, all the mounds would be covered with, with flowers. The Dia de los Muertos, hardly any crying. When somebody dies, it's very sad and you can feel it in the air. Dia de los Muertos, you go celebrate the memory of these people, but you do it in a way where you, where you celebrate and party. Trying to find the visual language to express all these elements to this puzzle that will someday come clear in my work. 